I'm David Carpenter. I'm a public health physician. I graduated from Harvard Medical School and I worked for the New York State Department of Health for 18 years. During that period of time, I was responsible for administering a program in electromagnetic fields. I subsequently became the dean of the School of Public Health and uh, presently I'm a faculty member in the School of Public Health and the director of the Institute for Health and the Environment at the University of Auburn. Thank you. And Central Maine Power says there is no reason to be concerned about smart meters. There are no health effects, and everyone who's worried about health effects of RF from smart meters or from the mesh network uh, really has nothing to be concerned about. And what do you say to that? I say that's absolutely false. Uh, the question to ask them is what is the evidence that smart meters are safe and have no adverse health effects? And the answer to that question is that there is no such evidence. And in fact, while no one has actually done human health studies in relation to people living in homes with smart meters, we have evidence from a whole variety of other sources of radio frequency exposure that demonstrates convincingly and consistently that exposure to radio frequency radiation at elevated levels for long periods of time increases the risk of cancer, increases the damage to the nervous system, causes electrosensitivity, has adverse reproductive uh, effects, and a variety of other uh, effects on, on different organ systems. So there is no reason for the, no justification for the statement that smart meters have no adverse health effects. Well, it should be up to each individual to identify whether or not they want to be continuously exposed 24-7 to elevated levels of radio frequency radiation. The smart meter is for the benefit of the utility, saves them money because they don't have to then have people going out reading the meters. And it's at the expense of the consumer who has to live in the house that has this constant exposure. So an informed person should demand that they be allowed to keep their analog meter.